Paris. Check out them bins. Right. Camera's on, camera's rolling. Would you believe it? It's the next day. Maybe Look at this weather. I've got shorts on. Sun's out. So I'm on the way to the depot. I've got 3.5 books. For 55 quid again, I think, as I said yesterday. So I've done a block yesterday doing one today. Yesterday was the 12th, today's the 13th, Friday as well, so I've got to be careful, got to be extra vigilant. Um, I've cleaned the car up, given it a hoover out because it's the right state in here, it's getting absolutely wrecked. I had a load of logs in the back here as well and just the sawdust and bits of wood and rubbish everywhere, so I've cleaned it all out, got all the rubbish out, got my boxes behind me, got some weather bags in there, don't need them today though. Hang on, let's get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail. Should be able to get a thumbnail from there. Yeah! I'm on the way to my mate's house. He's doing a block as well, same time as me. We're gonna go in together. We're gonna both go in at um, about 20 past one, I think, something like that, get in there just after. I've also actually got someone come with me today to learn the ropes. As I said in yesterday's video, I'm trying to help people get going. I had a lot of messages on YouTube, comments from people saying that I've, I've helped them out, which is really good. I really, um, I really like the fact that these videos are helping people because it's a little bit daunting to start with, but once you've done a few, it's pretty easy. Come on in, let's go. Come on in. I know, mate. I'm waiting for these people in front. Um, so I'm going to hopefully show her um, how to do it, give her some experience before she goes out on her own. Hey, sorry about the sunlight. It's all right in the window. I'll move that around there a bit. Not that much better, is it? Um, I need to be back today about four o'clock and the block starts at half past one so I'm really cutting it fine on time so I'm really hoping it's um, going to be a short one. If not, I might have to start the round, get, get some of them done, go and do what I've got to do at four o'clock and then get back on the parcels and finish the, the route off. You can do that, I've done it before. You can deliver any time up to ten o'clock on the day. So um, if I have to, I'll do that. If not, um, as I said, my mate's going at the same time as me. We'll have a look at the parcels on the cages and see what direction they're going. If I, if I get one that's going the wrong way and he's got one going the right way for me, we're going to swap them over. There'll be like two hours or something, maybe a three, I don't know. As I say, I'm cutting it fine, but either way, it doesn't matter. We can get round it. Uh, we'll sort it out. Oh yeah, um, on the last video, I'll talk about it in a bit, but on the last video, I was... Um, mentioning that there was a little one next to the delivery pin on the app. Um, I did have a think about it last night and also someone messaged me, I can't remember your name now. Um, a fellow messaged me on the video yesterday about it and he said that he thinks it, it means how many uh, parcels you got to deliver at that address, uh, which is what I think as well. Um, but. I didn't see any other numbers apart from one, and I did have parcels, I did have uh, deliveries that had more than one parcel, so I'll have a look at that today, see if it's the same, see if it is what it is. Also, for some reason, I'm using the same phone as I've always have done, the sound is only coming out one side, and I've been through the settings, nothing's changed on there, it all looks the same, I don't know why it's recording sound on one side, like a mono, or I don't know, so I've tried resetting it, restarting it, updating it, all that malarkey and hopefully it's working but if it's not I'll just have to get a different camera set up, get something else which I do want to do because the quality is not very good I know I'm aware of that um, I would like it to be better but I haven't got anything at the minute maybe a little GoPro, probably just get a GoPro 10 maybe they're about 300 quid at least, something like that 
they're quite good and you get a wide angle on there so I could get a lot more stuff in the frame half past 12 now lock starts in an hour's time got to drop these bits off at my mate's house pick up my apprentice and then get down to depot hopefully we get one of them crispy crispy 1.5s come on come on baby 1.5 um, another thing I forgot to mention on yesterday's video was my mileage. I think I've done about 26 miles, something like that. On the video I put the screen recording on of me going back, so from the furthest point I was back to the depot was about, I think it was about 10 miles. So there and back 20 miles and probably about 5 miles driving around in between that. So yeah, about 25, 26 miles yesterday, which isn't too bad. I don't know what's going on up here. We've got so many roadworks going on around here at the minute. Bumper to bumper, no one's moving. I'm moving a bit now, what's going on? What's going on, what is the hold up? So I've got plenty of time, I'm not gonna be late. Oh, not on Amazon, I'm gonna try and do a Morrison's delivery soon. What's it called, Amazon Amazon Fresh or something? Is it called that, Amazon Fresh? Morrison's Fresh? Gonna have a go at one of those soon. Got the market on over there. Shoes, hats, gloves. Amber Solaire. Only fools and horses, love it. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen that episode. Deepest, darkest winter. Rodney goes out and gets a consignment of Amber Solaire. Everyone else down the market selling Willie Atson gloves. He's a plonker, isn't he? Ah, oh, the traffic lights are there. Right outside the train station, they've got temporary lights. Oh, I definitely should have stayed where I was and gone around that way. I don't know people got bloody Amazon flex parcels to do. <coughs> Need to get some decent glasses to be honest. Bought these ones for the bands, but I'm actually using them now because I haven't got anything else. They were scratched up. Oh, and squeeze through there then. Squeeze through! Come on. 10 feet. Almost forgot, I've got to drop that stuff off at my mate's house, haven't I? So I've just, um, I'm just, I'm nearly here now. Just got a, a drill and um, some screws and stuff he needs. He's got to hang a curtain rail up. He needs some proper man tools to get it up there. He's Fisher Price rubbish, can't get through the brickwork, so I need to bring around some proper kit for him. But a depot. Oh, I don't know. Right. That's those dropped off. He's got himself a little job on there. Um, let's get that. Is that better? What's that like? How's that for you? It's a lovely day. What a difference a day makes. Pouring down yesterday. Loose, uh, that sun is really warm. Lovely. Too hot, just right. Oh, there you go, you can see me now. I've got to get a better camera, and I've got to get a better setup. Good Chinese there, all we can eat. I had a bit of grub in there, I'll tell you that for free. Smash the duck, a few ducks. You've got to smash the duck in you. Crispy duck. Rolls with a sauce. Oof. I haven't had Chinese in a long time. I might have to have a Chinese, you know, soon. I think it's them all you can, them all you can eat uh, Chinese is now are crazy money. It's like 25 quid for we can eat Chinese now. You've really got to get some down here to get your money's worth. You've got to leave that place in a wheelchair, basically. 
to get your money's worth these days. You ought to be absolutely stuffed. Stuffed up to there. To get bloody 25 quid's worth. And then they put a 10% um, bloomin' ser uh, service charge on, don't they? Unbelievable. Two of you go in there, you pay 25 quid each for all you can eat Chinese. You have a fair amount. And then they want another 10% on top of the bill. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Gonna pull in together with my mate. We're both gonna go in at the same time. As I said to you earlier, we'll check the cages, see what sort of direction we're going, and then swap if it's um, if it's needed. As you know, it's a lottery. This uh, this job, it's an absolute gamble, especially if you're tight for time. If, if you're not tight for time, it's no problem at all. You know, it's, it's easy and it doesn't matter. Thing is, though, the times when you're not tight for time is when you get the easy ones. But we'll see. We'll see. Whoosh! Right, we've just loaded up. Alice has just got um, jumped in our car because we're going my direction, which is good. So we're going west. So she's going to follow me in her car to um, the area where we're delivering in, which is Arundel. She's going to leave her car there. It's free parking. So leave her car there, jump back in this one, and then we'll go into start the block. We've got a 2.5 which is better than a 3.5 and it's uh, 30 stops with I think it was 46 parcels and pretty much the exact same area that my mate got he had um, Berry just slightly further north I know the route which, he's, um, which he got um, I've done it loads of times that one this one's very similar just a few more in Arundel which I've not done before so, yeah, looking forward to this one not done an Arundel job So far loading up's all gone all right. To be honest, as I'm on the clock, I only scanned the bags. I didn't scan every single parcel like you should do. You can scan the bags, we just run the risk of them not being correct, but um, didn't have time to count them and all that. So hopefully they'll all be okay. If we have any problems on the way around, we'll just ring up support and let them know. Um, but they should all be correct. Yeah, I think it could be all right. Two hours, I reckon, two hours. Got myself a cheeky breakaway. Classic. Oh, I'll get a time check. Sorry, I was quite quick loading up. Um, it is 1:42. So the block started at half one. Only took five, ten minutes to load up. Really quick. Um, and we've only got about five, ten minutes to get to the first drop. Right, we're in Arundel now, just waiting for this Royal Mail lorry to get out of the way. Alice is behind me in her car, she's going to park up. And then jump in, and we'll start the block. Right. So right, she's parking in there, no problem. She is, here she is. That's alright there, isn't it? Yep, that was good. I was about, oh god, it's... No, it's well busy, isn't it? That's what I was thinking. The sun's out, isn't it? Right. So the first one's just the other side of Arundel. Mm. Do it, to finish it in. Yep. So I reckon we'll be able to do it in two hours. Mm. Because I think that time also... is supposed to include your time travelling back to the depot, but... Oh, right. We'll see. I don't mind jumping out as well and delivering Yeah, some. okay, yeah. Just have to take every, the, the only annoying thing is with it, you have to take your phone with you on every single parcel to scan it off. All right. Some people use a separate phone, but then you have to. Um, yeah. I think you can hotspot it off your phone, or um, you can use it on airplane mode, but I've not tried any of that. I haven't tried it. Mm -hmm. You can use it with no signal, apparently. So you know where? Yeah, I know where it is, yeah. Well, small little road. Mm. So, what, what sort of places have you um, had like delivering slots in? All over. All over. Yeah, the, the best. I haven't done any Brighton ones because I know the, the Brighton. Yeah, you get Brighton from really? that depot. Yeah, I was saying if you book the nighttime ones, 
they can end up being bloody Brighton, which you don't uh -huh. want, do you? I definitely uh -huh. don't want that. And especially in the evening, because it's the worst time to do it. It's all flat, no one's answering the door. Um, yeah, it could be a right pain, you don't want that. You, no. want, you want these afternoon ones, and they tend to be all this sort of area, Worthing, Durrington, Bury. Literally, the job is just literally in there. This road's well tight. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going to go in the shed? It's in there. So is that house there? Look. So look, I've got one parcel, one parcel, number 21, small box. Mm -hmm. So, make sure my bloody handbrake's on. So look, so that's quite neat actually. <laughs> so, it's a small box, so it's probably on, on this side because there's more boxes. So, we're looking for 21. When you get rid of a few, it's easier. So number 21, or too close to me. So these are called these are called book folders. They're called small boxes. So what's that one? Number four. So it's not there. Not there. So it might be on this side. Is it there? Yeah, it's that one. So it's this side. So that means all our parcels we're doing now are going to be they're going to be these ones. And then once we've um, done those, they'll all be those ones. So now we know roughly where to look. So yeah. That's it. Then, on, does it say on there, on there if they want to leave with neighbour or leave? Yeah, so that one, place? it didn't. It didn't give me the option. It just said I had to leave it with her. So luckily she was there and she got it, but she was miserable. Hardly said thank you. Some people are like that, which mm. is annoying. But most people are really happy to see you. Yeah. Um, but generally, um, yeah, it's good. And if you were to just leave it there, you take a photo of it on the doorstep. Yeah. I mean, so if they if they say leave it at the doorstep, then you can do that, and you and it asks you to take a photo. It's not your choice. It just asks you to do that. So you can't take a photo if it doesn't ask you. Yeah. It's it's random. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So the next one's um. See see we just come down there, and the app's not quite. See the sat nav's like the wrong way around. Mm. So we, it's just there. So I'm gonna. So we've got three parcels. Look. One's an envelope, mm -hmm. one's a book folder, one's a small box. So we've got to find those now. So we still have to, so it says three parcels, but it's two different people, two locations, they're just next to each other. So one's an envelope, which is one of these. So is it not all on the bikes? No, the, for the for the boxes, yeah, but all the envelopes. Oh, so, right. so it'll either be these ones here, so here goes these ones. So these four, these are going to be first, and then it'll be all these. So it's that one, it's not that one. Come on. See how See how the system works? It come off, rolled down the <gasps> hill, crushed his leg. Oh, nice. Smashed his leg up. Well, he, nice guy, really yeah. happy, he's good, isn't it? He probably doesn't see many people. Yeah, exactly. So some people are really happy to see you. So now we press, so they're all there, we've done those. They're all safe and start travel and it's saying um saying go up the hill mm -hmm. and left two parcels and two different locations so it's basically again one parcel for two different houses right, right next to each other so i'm just going to stop here could be one of these so this could be flats um so it says number eight old poor house book book folder is that the old poor house what does that say well there it is it looked behind you on the wall oh, yeah. so they're here so we got a book folder and a book folder and it's probably going to be in one of them boxes because that that's the next bag now. Okay, it's there, enclosed front porch, mm -hmm. uh, porch, mm -hmm. and there's a code there, but very rarely you need the codes. If, if it says leave them at the porch, leave them at the porch, that's brilliant, that's what you want. So the scan parcels, Bosch, that one, it should beep, but it's not beeping because it's connected to the Bluetooth mm -hmm. on the, because that was on the first bag. Yeah, because there was only a few in there, weren't there? And then I, I put them in there, and they're never eyeing on the other ones. Got yeah. loads. It's all of these are from the next bag. So any right, Alice is just dropping off those two there. Going quite well so far. Pretty self-explanatory. I left them inside. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, leave them inside. That's perfect. And. Say if it was pissing down the rain, I couldn't get in that door. I just put them, tuck yeah. them inside that garage or something. Generally, people are pretty good, and they can, you know, they're mm -hmm. used to having stuff delivered, and they, it's, you do get the odd person that's like, don't leave my parcel under no circumstances. 
if I'm not in. And then they order loads of stuff online and they're never indoors. Yeah. So then what am I supposed to do? Mm. What am I going to do with these parcels then? What am I supposed to do with them? Take them back every single time I get them. So look, the next one's just over there. So I'm going to park. So it's two medium boxes, I'm probably going to be behind me, I'll do it. Oh this one's a verified age there, I can't leave it and I have to go back to the depot um, either today or tomorrow to morning. ID. Yeah, I have to ask for their ID. In fact, if they're not there I can't leave the parcel, that's well annoying, but hopefully yeah. they're there. And was that one there? Oh that's it. Where does it say the number? That one there, that says 58, oh. and that's the address. Sometimes the barcode is a little bit messed up and mm. you have to try and get them on an angle or type in the number. Do you hear me banging the door? Yeah, someone, a man came out, I think, in who's banging. An old lady goes, I'm coming, I'm coming! Is it an old lady? Yeah, because it's alcohol. Oh. And, I, and I can't I can't leave it without seeing her. Thank I God she answered. If... Otherwise I would have about to take them back. I didn't know if like the person had when they purchased it, said that they were. No, it's Amazon doing it. Um, and if you get caught out not doing it properly, you get um, told off. Mm. So now it's number 55, one parcel. Where is it? 49, so it's on that side. Yeah, um, yeah that's why I was banging so much. I was like, please, bloody be in. Mm. Ringing a doorbell, because we would have had to take him back otherwise. I would have yeah. done it tomorrow. And I ain't got, just, that no. sort of thing is really annoying. What one's that? It's 55. Same road, Mole Travis Street. Polybag. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming! There's <laughs> that one there, let's see, because mm -hmm. it is, we've done it like that. How does he know? He doesn't he? 49. You were recording and I. And oh, it's I recording, yeah, but I'll edit, I'll edit everything. But I I'll said to through. myself, I said, how does he know where that is? He's clever. Because <laughs> that's 49. I know. Odd numbers, and it sort of tells you on there as well. You can zoom in. Right, so um, we're going back down the hill now, look towards the roundabout. It, see, it says it's, see, it's slow, so it says I'm turned around, but I haven't. Mm. So it, it doesn't matter if you're not in a rush, but because I'm in a rush. Uh -huh. So this is new thing here that says a number one next to this drop and apparently that means one parcel but why does it do that when it tells you there you've got one parcel see mm -hmm. that one and one because it makes you think you're on number one anyway um is it that one there is it four four two one, one a, a. Well, you want a five door as well, it makes it much easier, doesn't it? Remember? It's not. See, this one says Forest House, and there's a number as well, so sometimes people have a house number and a name, so it's here. The labels are like in bold mm. and then small print. Mm. Again, just little things like that just gets you confused when you're mm. in a rush. But um, So now, look, we've got two more here right in front of us so number one school lane two parcels parcel and a small box it says enclosed uh, leave in the enclosed porch I've parked understand we leave it in the porch scan parcels in the hang of it mm -hmm. pretty easy in it yeah. it's just um, there'll be no care, isn't it? Oh. number one these two in it so is that one mm -hmm. so if I just turn my blue tube off I'll show you no, you have to have your Bluetooth on on your phone, but if I just unplug this... Um, right, so now when I scan it, it should be... There you go, be made. So it's the wrong one. It says there's no green tip, but we know it's that one there, isn't it? See, look, see it just scans everything inside. It's this one. There you go, they've both gone green. It says front door, porch. You press front door porch, one. press continue, you've got to take a photo, so yeah, number um, 
there's another one right there where we just were. Uh. So just say I've parked. So this one says, if unavailable, deliver to neighbour Mary. I said leave it with the neighbour. Uh, this one's four parcels, three locations, so it looks like we're going out of Arundel now. Right. Camera's rolling. If you'd be slagging me off, I would I'll see it. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I did actually say you were walking, I was like, come on, I didn't run. Yeah, hurry up, yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes I would run, but um, it depends. Depends. I had done my shorts up. Like if I run, the shorts will fall down. It's like yeah. you have to, like, if you were like really prepared, proper like zoned in, got yourself a Red Bull going, got your shorts done up, you could sprint all around and do them really quick. You could do it really fast. Just could, do. Could you? Can you only do one sort of day? No, you can do two a day. Oh. Burning horse and cart when we're really? babies. Me and my mum and dad and Russell and myself. Yeah. Russell was a baby when I was like three or four. And we were going through them woods there, and um, the horse saw a bag and something bolted. Mm. The cart rolled over, we all fell out. It was all scary. It was kids. And the horse bolted through the woods, went down onto the road, down into that Arundel. Mm. Um, I don't remember much. I just remember being in the woods, like crying, like mm. all in the grass. <laughs> like, oh. I was only like three or four years old. I haven't been down there since. Oh, please. Yeah, you, just, you can only go over one, oh. one way. It's because this car is so low, it just catches stuff all the time. Good memory. Yeah, I, I just remember it because it was just such a traumatic mm. experience. See, if I washed my car, it would have been covered in crap, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, so it's here. And there's someone there, which is good. So we've got... It could be confusing. So we've got Screenings Cottages, which is that, one parcel, and then four there must be more houses here or something just go four just in case someone comes you look like there's one yeah somebody that's what i mean sometimes it can be a bit hard to find them so look if i just go back it says look they're all here look mm. there's right that house there and that house there so there must be another one so what's well, the same house but it's saskia and that one there says, oh, Saskia mm. as well. Let's just have a look. Nice right. little plot of land. Yeah, well, nice, isn't it? I'd love to live somewhere. This is where I want to live somewhere like really? this. Like, it's not far away, but just more rural. Yeah. You know, so I can just have more stuff around me, more space. Rufus More cars. Would love it. Yeah. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So yeah. When did we start delivering? Do you reckon? About two. Two o'clock. Oh yeah. So it's about. Yeah. About twenty-five minutes to the first location, and then. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So it's half past three. This is the last one, and it is. I think it's in there actually. Is it in there? Yeah. Lodge. Yeah. It must be. I've got to scan it. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Last one. And we've got none left, so obviously the bags, scanning the bags worked out this time. Put in the letterbox, it says, all right. So I've just done that last one. It just says, it just asked you a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. Did you have any problems delivering? Did you feel safe? Was yeah. the apps working okay? Just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could yeah, get yeah. in the letterbox, but I saw the yeah. lady and I told her. Yeah, fine, yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'm gonna do one of those. So that's it now, done. That's it, you're done. Mm -hmm. And it just says, well done, you completed it. And then what happens is, your, um, so now I can look at more blocks. That's it. Done. Two hours, bang on. How's it going on? Stop the clock. Stop the clock, stop the clock. Yeah, we just finished. Um, it took us two hours, bang on, just finished now. Um, the ones all round Matehurst and sort of Berryway, uh, really, really, really bad roads. Like the car was catching on the bottom, I like almost couldn't make it. Um, so bad, you need a proper 4x4. Four four. Probably one of the worst ones I've had actually, to be honest. I, have, I was saying to Alice, I've had them like that before, but that was really bad. But um, all the delivery is pretty easy, apart from we had a one-time passcode at one house, luckily the guy was there, and we had two that were age verified. Luckily, both of them were there as well, so we've got none to take back. 
other than that, pretty good. Encourage her into hyperdrive, get home. Um, I have tried to record it for on camera for YouTube, but when you record it on camera, you just can't. It doesn't show up all the deviations and stuff. Mm. Like some of those ruts are probably like a foot deep, and you, you when you when you film it on camera, it just doesn't show it. It doesn't. You can't see how steep it is or how uneven it is. Yeah, it's a lot of things for you to. Yeah, but I say you've seen it all firsthand now, like all the little problems to get and how it works. And and when you look at the app yourself and you're doing it yourself, like you think you'll there's so much information on there mm. to, to read, like the names, addresses, and when it's multiple stops, like. Um, multiple mm. addresses at the same stop like just be careful not to put just when you deliver or put one through a letterbox just be careful mm. to, to check the numbers correct mm. there you go then a success just dropped Alice off at her car so she's heading home now um, it was a good route to be honest it some of the well I say it was a good route we so we booked a 3.5 and we were given a 2.5 it took us bang on two hours through the whole route including travel to the first stop so as Alice said I think it was about 20 minutes 25 minutes to get to the first stop and then um, about an hour and 10 hour and 20 or something to hour and 40 minutes yeah hour and 40 minutes to, to do all the parcels so we had uh, 30 deliveries 46 parcels um, all of them have been delivered we had a um, um, a one-time passcode on one of them which, but in this case there was a young chap who was watching on the app so he knew I was coming he was ready outside he had the code a uh, young fella called Toby that was good so we got that one sorted out and there was also two other deliveries in fact three deliveries that had age verified uh, protection on them as well and again annoying but in this case they were there so that's perfect you can't fake it you can't pretend that the person's there and put in their date of birth and just write their name on there because you get caught out and then you'll um you lose your uh, job on amazon flex so it's not really worth the risk you just have to take it back if you can't deliver them um just a few of the yeah a few of the lanes that we were on in really really rural areas the roads were very 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 dodgy um almost unpassable in the Peugeot there's some things the mighty Peugeot just can't deal with and it's stuff like that but today we got away with it I've probably got a few dents and scratches underneath because it was catching the rocks and stuff um, I've noticed one of the tires is a little bit low as well so I'll have to check that I think I might have a little bit of a puncture from one of the flints so a little bit of wear and tear on the old girl today so having Alice come around me on that on that block first hand she's got the experience now she's got the confidence to go out on her own and do it she's seen how it works on the app she's seen all the little problems you get i'm repeating myself now i know um i'll have to edit this out i'll edit it out i'm right about that um but yeah a success and i'm really pleased that i could help out there so thanks for watching again thanks for watching the videos um two in one week hey How's about that? Two videos in one week. From none to two. Spoiling you now. All's good in the world of Amazon Flex. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Bye-bye.